Hello there, it's time to get creative with colour, but not that kind of colour. To celebrate summer in the Northern Hemisphere, I've put together a rainbow of playful eyeliner possibilities. I've often spoken about using eyeshadow sticks or shadows along the lash line, but I've kept this video to the actual eyeliners. We've got plenty of pencils, twist up sticks and a couple of liquids here. No black or brown liner in sight, there are some pretty pastels if you're still in more of a spring mood, some super bright neons that scream summer and some deeper shades that can take you into autumn or fall too. This video is sponsored by Squarespace, the website I use to create MatildaOnVideo.com. You can catch my ranking of the eyeliner formulas that appear in this video over on the blog. If you're a fairly minimal or natural makeup lover like me, you can absolutely still have fun with colour, maybe just in smaller doses like on your nails or your eyes. You could try a fun one and done shadow all over the lid like one of my previous videos, but I actually think experimenting with a tiny swipe of bright eyeliner is one of the coolest and most subtle ways to wear bold colour. Perfect if it's usually out of your comfort zone or you're wanting to give it a try for the first time, then you might like to work your way up to a more striking graphic winged liner. I've put together a highlight over on my Instagram at Matilda on Video with plenty of artistic but achievable eyeliner inspiration if you're looking for a place to start. Let's go! Beginning with red. It might seem like one of the scariest liner colours to attempt, but it was actually one of the first I ever tried thanks to this pencil. Chanel released this statement Stilo Yeur waterproof eyeliner colour Eros back in 2016 as part of their red collection. I loved it so much I bought a backup straight away, but they've luckily brought it back since then. A bit like pink, red around your eyes is probably associated with looking a bit unwell, but this deep metallic burgundy red can really lift your eye colour, particularly if they're green or blue. You might have seen 1999 Beauty here before. They're a small Canadian brand with amazing multitasking precision colour pencils. I love a multitasker and I love their fun shade range so you'll see quite a few in this video. Voros is a rich, slightly blue-toned red to start. These are so creamy, they glide on without any pressure and blend out beautifully if you want to smudge or mess it up a bit. The Fenty Beauty Fly Pencil Longwear Pencils come in a great range of colours for some eye art, and Spaghetti Straps is one of two shades I purchased last year. This feels like a bit more of a dry or waxy formula compared to the first two here. This is definitely more of a coral red, it's almost reading as orange next to the shade above, but I thought I'd share a range of reds in case you find the colour a bit daunting. If you're orange obsessed like me when it comes to eye products, take a look at this trio. Colourpop's cream gel liners come in a wide range of colours, and at $7 they're cheap and cheerful but perform really well. The pastels like Peach Fuzz here aren't chalky or patchy, they're even, they glide on nicely, and they won't budge almost immediately after application. This is definitely a peachier pick, but I wanted to give you an entry-level orange option. Back to 1999 Beauty and the Precision Colour Pencil shade Meleg launched earlier this year. This is a fiery red orange. It can look really red at times, but it's definitely a lot warmer than their true red Voros. These are so buttery. They're not going to dry down in the same way as some others here. They're designed to be creamy enough to use on lips and cheeks too. More of this kind of colour mood coming in a summer makeup video soon. The Danessa Myricks Waterproof Cushion Colours have made a couple of appearances on my channel. The bright coral shade Pretty Pumpkin was one of my 2020 favourites, but Totally Tangerine was made for this colour category. These are so neon, my camera honestly can't handle it, so it's even brighter in real life, but they're not as intimidating as they seem. They sheer out, the brush they come with is great to use, and a really thin, sneaky swipe is one of my favourite summer liner looks. This next section is definitely out of my comfort zone, so I grouped yellow, green and blue together. Colourpop have such a pretty range of pastels in this cream gel liner formula, there's even a set that includes all three of the shades I picked for this video. Yellow is a bit of a tricky one for me, it can look so cool on other people but I don't feel like I can pull it off, so a really washed out cupcake icing pale yellow like the shade Extra Frosting feels like a safer place to start. I actually went through a big phase of wearing green once, mostly khaki green liners to try to match my green eyes, but this Colourpop cream gel liner in the shade Icebreaker is making me want to have more of a mint green moment. This just feels like a really cheerful, happy colour for spring or summer, and if your eyeliner matches your mint chocolate chip ice cream, that's a bonus. 
Cool Fee Beauty was part of the inspiration behind this video. Their underlined Cardial eyeliners come in great playful shades. Rain Check is a beautiful jewel toned blue. The color really pops. I talked about this new New York based brand in my winter makeup video earlier in the year and the lovely team have kindly given me their first ever code to share with fellow liner lovers. You can use Matilda 10 for 10% off your first order. Lilac is lovely, but a deep purple eyeliner is a great call if you want something a bit less intense than black. I've got Gucci Beauty on the brain at the moment. You might have seen my recent review of their new Glow and Care lipsticks, and earlier this year they launched their Stilo Contour Coal Eyeliners. The shade Amethyst is a really regal sort of purple with a metallic sheen. You'll see plenty of lilac liners on the market, but I personally haven't come across a purple quite like this. Kulfi Beauty, the brand that celebrates South Asian beauty and culture is back. Purply Pitaka was the shade that took the founder the longest time to perfect, but this deep metallic berry was well worth the effort. Now we're moving into that territory of darker colours that almost look like black liner from a distance, but they're not as stark or flat. The brand has some big things coming this year, can't wait to share their next steps with you. Finishing with the deepest, darkest Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil Alkaline. I actually bought this colour because I saw someone use this dramatic deep purple matte as a vampy lip liner, so you know what? It can go the other way too. If you have a deep berry lip liner at home, you could try it as a deep berry eyeliner. Just make sure you clean and sharpen it in between. Last but not least, I'm thinking pink. Starting with one of my absolute favourite finds last year, the 1999 shade Neutra. This is a warm, dusty rose that makes a beautiful lip liner shade. It looks lovely on the cheeks, but a touch of this along the lash line just emphasises your eyes in a really natural way. I love using it to add a bit of definition, particularly when I'm wearing a softer pink shadow all over the lid. My final 1999 beauty pick is their bolder pink Rossa. This was in my recent spring makeup video, but it definitely has a summery spirit as well. You can see it's not even in the same ballpark as the previous pink. If Neutra was a period piece like Bridgerton, Rossa is bridesmaids. This fuchsia is ready to party, and I always have a good time working with this super smooth formula. Finishing with another ridiculously fun Danessa Myrick's Waterproof Cushion Colour Pot Cotton Candy. The name tells you exactly what to expect. This is the loudest pop of pink I've ever seen in a product and a nice match for my Olive & June Hot Strawberry Nail Polish. Again, it's so bright my camera cannot cope. Neons are so hard to capture accurately. You could go wild with a wing or keep it really thin along the lash line so it takes people a second to notice. I don't think I could pick just one favourite eyeliner colour from that bunch, but I have tried to pick my favourite formulas over on my blog. I built MatildaOnVideo.com using Squarespace last year, but you don't have to start from scratch or know how to code, you can tweak one of their stylish templates. There's a built-in comment section so you can let me know your favourite eyeliner formulas too, and you can easily jump straight across to my Instagram for some look inspiration. It's easy to link all of your social media accounts. If starting a blog could be your fun project this summer, you can visit squarespace.com slash Matilda to save 10% on your first website or domain name purchase. Please let me know if you'll be lining up your colourful eyeliners this season. Send me a photo over on Instagram at Matilda on Video if you give it a try, and make sure you share your favourite formulas or colours in the comments. Which fun colour groups do you enjoy wearing most on your eyes? I reach for oranges and pinks a lot, but I do love a bit of red too. Speaking of which, do I need to schedule a red themed video for November when that Taylor Swift re-recording drops? Let me know. Thanks for watching, see you next time!